Like, we need to move the off. camera a little bit. Yeah. I don't ever know which way to turn it. The, other, the yeah. opposite way, always. Okay, good. So, enjoy this moment. <laughs> what? The, the moment of peace that just happened? No, 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 no. Enjoy this moment. I'm wearing colors. Do you wear colors all the time? No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. You guys can see my beard <laughs> at its fullest right now on this backdrop of blue and green. So. Yep. Enjoy. Hey, Karen. Hey, Wim. Hello, Wim. Hello, my hair Karen. Is still up. Um, so today we're playing uh, a game that we enjoy a lot. It's super colorful. Um, it's puzzly. Are you good? Yeah, I just need to know how okay. many thingies I need. <laughs> we were still setting up. Yeah. Um, what else is it? It's, it's, um, it's got a bunch of pretty dice. A lot of pretty dice. Um, Sagrada. Uh, base game Sagrada. We're not playing with the expansions or anything. It's just base game. Um. I had to recount. You had to recount. <laughs> I had to make sure it was six. Cool. Um, so, so yeah, we are playing for the, uh, blue and green. Um, you're gonna see in a moment that all of our boards have blue and green. Yeah. Um, our colors are blue and green. Yeah. We are wearing blue and green. Um, our boards are blue and green, like the actual yeah, cards are our blue boards and green. <laughs> yeah. I went kind of all out. We went blue and green today. Hey, Ryan. Hi, Dr. Sign. Hey. So, yeah. So, this week is, is a super special week because we've got a whole bunch of charity streams that we're excited for um, that we do want to shout out because it is super important, you know, that that we raise awareness to, to kids that are not having the best of life, you know? Um, so, so yeah, this Saturday, uh, the whole card with Ryan, who is in the chat right now, they are doing their charity stream for their children's hospitals where they live. Um, and they're going to be eating some gross beans for every $25 that they raise. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how much they've raised so far, but they've raised quite a bit and I'm happy to be on their team, yeah. um, for that charity. I don't like the bean part. The bean part, <laughs> the bean part could use a bit of tweaking. Um, <laughs> but like I said, it's for the kids. <laughs> Beans. Um, and also this Saturday, so, so it's, it's a lot of saturday yeah. streams going on and i'm gonna be a little busy <laughs> and we we will try to be in as many as we can because we do we do want to support anybody that is fighting for a cause yeah um this saturday you want to say it since <laughs> no because i'm gonna mess it up <laughs> i don't do a talk thing <laughs> um so tj warren correct and chris holmes of board at home they are also doing a um, charity stream. Now, is it a really long one? Is it's it a 24 hour? hour? It's, it's a 12 hour. It's a 12 hour charity stream. Okay. Um, they are streaming for the uh, Children's Tumor Foundation. And and they are, um, they're fighting. I, I hope I can say this right. I think I know how to say this right. <laughs> That's why I'm not saying that. But they are, <laughs> they are streaming to fight NF, which is neurofibromatosis. I feel like that's right. <laughs> I hope I said that right. If I didn't, you know, I'll eat four beans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Punish me. We are up to 1,575 and so grateful that you're on our team. Oh, Thank you. We love you too, Ryan. Um, Karen also wants to sign up. She's been talking about it for a while. Yeah. So we got to get her. We got to get her situated. Get her rolling in that. <laughs> so yeah. So um, I don't know if you want to uh, shout out the whole card real quick, and then if board at home comes in or if TJ comes in, we can shout them out, or we can do that right now. I don't know if it works. But 
But there you go. This Saturday. Yeah. This Saturday, everybody's busy. <laughs> busy for a good cause, though. Yeah. It's a super good cause. I mean, these kids, they, you know, they can only fight so much on their own. And, uh, you know, any any bit helps. And, you know, anyone that's doing anything to help is a hero. You know? And uh, for Chris and TJ, it, it's really close to them. Um, TJ's son was diagnosed. And yeah. so, so it, it's very personal it's to them. A, it's a personal fight. They are going to be doing giveaways and having guests and things. Um, we did post about it in our Facebook group. Um, everybody that's going to be there and the giveaway games that they're going to be doing. So definitely check out them as well. Um, if you guys want any more information on Chris and TJ's stream, uh, head over to our Facebook group. They are uh, posting uh, everything about it there. Yeah. As well as their own uh, personal media stuff. So. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's good. Um, this weekend's going to be super busy. Yeah. Um. Well, you have to work. I'm going to work yeah. for two hours before, yeah. or three hours before we do stuff with the whole card. Mm -hmm. And then after that finishes up, I'm going back to board at home. So, I'm definitely going to have a very tiring uh, Saturday, plus the new dog will be here. <laughs> and yes. I'm going to have to stop and walk him occasionally. Well, you, we have to take care of stuff, too. Yeah. So. We, we, can't, we can't be super superheroes, but we can try. Well, one of our sons is going to be at his father's, so that's one kid down. But you add in the puppy, so it's yeah, like two more. It's, it's two more. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be like, Mom! <laughs> Pay attention to me. Um, so, so yeah. Um, update on the uh, Simlo cards also. Just want to throw it out there that um, I am ready to start printing. Um, I got to get the sizes done. And hopefully it all goes well. I'm hoping that my printer can handle, you know, the quality. <gasps> Hi, Chris. Hey, we, we were, were just, just talking about you. We just talking about you. <laughs> Go ahead and... Do the thing. Do the again. thing for them. So yeah, we we were talking about your charity stream uh, this Saturday, and we also posted in our Facebook group, and we will continue posting for all of you guys that are doing these charity streams because we support you guys that much, and we will try to be at all of these streams as much as possible. I think I shot out the wrong person the first time. What, the first time? Yep. Why? Because that's not what they were playing the last time. This one is the right one. <laughs> yeah. Board at home? Yeah. The very first board at home I did, I didn't do it with the dashes. Oh, they might yeah. be a different one, huh? It is. Wow, there's two board at homes? Yeah. Everybody's board Ooh. at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what do you say we get in the game? You want to do it? Yep. Yeah, I'm ready. Do it. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun, Chris. You guys are great. Yeah, and if there's anything we can do to help during the stream, just let us know. If if, if you need us to come on and play some games or, or anything, you know. And if we're available, because we are going to have a new dog. New <laughs> My doggy. Dog. So, like I said, we'll, we'll do whatever we need <laughs> to do to support you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's. I'm glad that there's not so many Meeple Grandes out there. No. It's a pretty unique name, but so is Bored at Home. You would think so. Yeah, you would think so. I don't know. Did you forget the A in the first one, or? No, I didn't do the the under dash thing. Ah, okay. I just did it all together because yeah, normally my phone corrects it, <laughs> but okay. I didn't do it this time. Um, okay. So, since we are doing a lot of blues and greens. Um, let me go ahead and take the autofocus off because yeah, that's going to annoy gonna me. Be annoying. I already <laughs> see it. I already see it. And it was getting to me. Apply. Okay. Okay. Done. Oh, no. It's totally okay. I will be there no. to be supportive. Yeah. Yeah. That is that is cool. It, I will be there for the first few hours before yeah. I have to go into the, the next one. Just, and then I'll be back at the end. Just know that we support you guys. 
Um, okay, so like I said, we are all blue and green today. And like I said earlier, enjoy this. I don't usually wear <laughs> color. So this is my blue and green. I'm wearing blue and green. Right here. And you could see all of this. You can see all my beard. Uh, <laughs> Need some mods. Yeah, I will be there. I promise. I will you, be there for a while. You guys got it, man. You got it. Okay. My board. All blue. No, what is that? <laughs> Only blue. <laughs> That's all you can get. That's all I can get. Um, <laughs> where are player markers, by the way? Um, they're probably still in the bag. They're in the bag. They're right there. I see them. Um, I'm assuming we're going to be blue and green, right? Should we just show our secret cards? Or should we have them guess? Does it matter? Because everyone knows it's <laughs> blue and green. I literally did everything blue and green. Okay, so. Do you remember how to play this game? On the app? <laughs> I left the scoreboard, too. Where'd that go? It's The scoreboard is behind here. Oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember how to play this game. Okay. Yeah, no, I remember. All right, the, the object of the game is to create your stained glass window here. Okay? You have to start at the outer edges. Okay, you can't create a stained glass window by building in the middle first. Yeah. You have to start at the edges and make your way in. Um, some of these have restrictions. Color restrictions are obvious. Um, color. Okay. Yeah. And then there are shade restrictions. Okay, that's the numbers that are on the sheet here. See, that's a one. So that's a light shade. Four, medium shade. Five is the darker, and six is the darkest shade, okay? So those are shade restrictions. Color I restrictions. I super simple goals yeah. to do. <laughs> so I don't have to. And uh, these blank spots this. here are freebies. Uh, anything can go there, um, except... Um, except? <laughs> except if the color next to it is the same. So there are restrictions even for these blank spots. Yeah. Because you're not allowed to use the same color dye next to each other. Or, or the same number. Orthogonally. Yeah. Or adjacent. Okay? Diagonals are fine. Yeah. Okay? You cannot have the same number next to each other. Adjacent. Diagonals are fine as well. Yep. So it's just adjacent to each other. Okay? So this one here... Is, is cool and fine. You cannot have a one next to it or below it. Yeah. You cannot have the same color. So if there's a blue here for the color restriction, you cannot have a blue right next to it or a blue with the number shade. Right hey, there. TJ. Hey, we're all here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you finally got to come in. Okay, so that is the object of the game is to build your uh, Sagrada window. Okay, now we have tools we can use, which are these cards here. The first tool is the lens cutter. And uh, after drafting, you can swap the drafted die with a die from the round track. That is probably my favorite tool in the whole game. It's very versatile. We already shouted you guys out. And, uh, you know, the first time I shouted you out, I shouted out another board at home. So that was interesting. But that once was. Chris got in here, there was pressure and I had to do it correctly. <laughs> yes. It's, it's, it's good that you, you caught your mistake. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, that's oh, bad. No. <laughs> um, the glazing hammer right here. You can reroll all dice in the draft pool. This may only be used on your second turn before drafting. Yeah. Okay, so everyone has to uh, pick one at least. Okay. The grinding stone is the last tool. After drafting, you can flip the die to its opposite side. So a six flips to a one, a five to a two, a four to a three, etc. Yep. Okay. Here are some goals. These are some extra bonus scores that we can... I'm so technology spoiled. Why doesn't this score for me? <laughs> Will you? I know it's so bad. I've got to stop playing app games. Just, just stop. 
at the end, it doesn't. Are, are you listening me. to the goals? Because I don't want to hear later. Oh, I forgot. I didn't hear you because I was complaining that I have to do my own scores. I have to score. <laughs> Color column variety. Okay, you'll get five points for every column that has no repeated colors. Yeah. Repeat that. <laughs> Different ne- colors in a row. Okay. No, column. column. <laughs> See, I'm going to mess it up already. <laughs> Column, shade, variety. Same as the color variety, except yeah. this one deals with shades. Do you have to repeat that one, right? Or Numbers get... different. N- numbers different, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have played with the expansion. We're just doing base stuff today. Yeah, we're just doing base. Because <laughs> apparently I'm going to pay attention to chat and not play this game yeah. correctly. The last bonus goal here is color diagonals. So you're going to count um, the count of diagonals Diagonally adjacent, same color dies. So the pips on the die will count mm-hmm. towards your score. So the higher the number, the higher the score. Okay? Yeah. Plus, we are showing our secret... Um, all blue and all green. Private. Secret private? Secret private card here. So, of course, I'm green. Um, so shades of green for me. So the sum of values on green dice... Okay, and that is only going to score for me, not you. No, nope, not me. Of course, you are blue. Everyone sees that. No, you can chat away. I- I'm always distracted by the chat. That's just me. <laughs> no, go, guys, chat amongst each other. Talk about talk about stuff that you want to talk about. Um, I need you to make sure that I said it right. But you guys are streaming to fight uh, neurofibromatosis, right? Did I say that Did right? Did he say that right? Because <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to say it and mess I was, it up. <laughs> I was nervous before because I was <laughs> hopefully saying it right. I want to get coffee. Oh, is that a, oh yes, you rock that I said it right? Cool. <laughs> I hope Maybe. so. I hope so. I mean, Hello, Bones cool John. Too. Yes, you said it right. <gasps> Woo! That's why I didn't say it because I didn't want to mess it up. Awesome. I love that I said it right. I love that I hit the broom. You guys might wonder how I can possibly stream and play with her. Because I'm a squirrel all the time. Can you sit still and play the game? Are you done with the rules? Yes, I'm done with the rules. Do you remember everything? (laughs) Yes. You don't. Diagonals. Okay. So, no, here's no what's going to no what's gonna happen, okay? <laughs> We're going to roll five dice, five random dice, okay? And we're each going to pick two, and we're going to alternate picking or drafting. So, who is going to go first? Do you want to yeah. go first? Me? Yeah. Okay, I can go first. Now, we're going to draw five die. There's always going to be one left. Sometimes, there are going to be two. Because sometimes we won't be able to place to anything. Place, yeah. Yes. Well, man. All right, but um, yeah. before we go on, I want to talk about these. You can't see them on the board, <laughs> but but these are what we use to this pay the f- fish tank marbles. The, yes, the fish tank pearls. We're gonna use these to signify using a tool. So if I want to use the lens cutter, I will put this on here. Now the first time. These tools are used, they're going to be worth, um, cost one. Every other time, they're going to cost an additional. So if she wants to use that tool, she'll have to spend two. Yeah. And so on. If I want to use it again, I'll have to spend two as well. So let's make sure that is a thing. Uh, these are also worth one point at the end of the game for any that you have not used. So That's not happening. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> I agree. it's totally not happening. All right, here we go. Let's. Uh, this is gonna be ten rounds, okay? Yeah. Do I need to get the dice tray? Yeah. Let's let's get Which my lucky, <laughs> my um Nordic dice tray. Where is it at? I don't know. Oh, oh, I know where it is. See, you told me to sit still, and then you didn't need to move. My Valhalla dice tray. It's only not blue green thing in the stream <laughs> there we go i think i have five 
I have more than five. Get your stupid hand no, out no, of the bag. No, no, stop. I have four. I have five now. So I also want to um, talk about my beard care products that I use. Um, just for a second, since we are talking about um, fighting cancer and donating and supporting charities and places that support charities. Um, the Beard Struggle is a charity, um, is a company that does support um, uh, charities that fight cancer. So that's these guys right here. Okay, and I do uh, buy from them. A lot. A lot. <laughs> and You're not going to smell like the dog. No. And you get one of these. And I wear this with pride. It's a See You in Valhalla uh, wristband. Mm -hmm. And I wear this all the time. So I just want to throw that out there that there are companies that do that. And, and they're they're good. Well, yeah, Chris, your wife will really like the smells of some of these beard oils. They're amazing. Yeah, and they give he you... He has, a... like, beard oil and... Oh, yeah. Butter and all kinds of They give you stuff. a sticker that says um, F cancer. F U cancer. F U cancer. So I tr I support that language. As far <laughs> Poor as... TJ. I tease him all the time because he doesn't have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, we've got some blues, no greens. No greens. Okay. Not good for me. No, no good. No good. Um, man, those blues are not going to be cool. <laughs> so, so yeah, um the beer struggle, you can head over there. They're they're really cool. They're they're all like viking up. You know, they're Yeah. It's not why I bought from them. Well, it is. It is. <laughs> it is. But I didn't know that they they donated to uh then donated their um you know some of their sales to charity. So I learned that um after the fact. But I'm gonna pick this six. Uh yeah, I will put that right here on the corner. Okay, now you will pick twice. Oh, you're going to leave me with the uh, blue four, huh? Yeah. I see it. Well, I mean, my secret color is blue, and I'm still leaving you with blue. Okay. You can throw some beard oil it's on it good. and keep your skin soft. Yeah, exactly. One of the, the oh. beard oils he has. Yeah, my hands are super soft. I'm going to end up using because I like the I put of some it. of it on today. And if I could suggest anything to you guys is get the beard oil sampler. It's like thirty dollars, and you get like mm -hmm. all the scents that they sell. Yeah. And you get to choose. It, it's a good way to uh, put it on and see what it smells like after you have worn it, because it lasts a while. Yeah. There's one that I want to use in my hair. So this four the is not ones. used, so it's gonna go onto the dice track here. Hey, Lenny. Um, another thing I do is when I do use the oil on my, my beard. This is turning into a girl stream. No. <laughs> there is still oil on my hand. So I usually, you know, spread it on my skin, on my neck and it feels good. It makes you smell good. <laughs> Poor TJ and his beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you get to roll, I get to roll five. Right. No, but I'm serious though. You know, whatever oil is left on your hands, you just rub on your neck or your chest, or, and it smells good. This stuff smells amazing. Hey, you're using your new cup. I am using my new cup. Okay, so we've got a bunch of yellows, a red, and a blue. And I get to go first. Yes, you get to choose first, and then I choose no, twice. I just want to see how much this sucks. Because I can't use that blue five. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to use a tool, maybe? Maybe. 
You can, the grinding stone might help oh, you. Oh, this is so bad. Um. Hmm. The grinding stone might help you. Where I flip it over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just sitting here beardless. <laughs> I don't use my things already, though. Man. Guys, not having a beard is not the end of the world. I mean, mm. yeah. for, the, for the longest time, I had yeah. just stubble this one. on my face. So, well, it's funny because I was talking to Lex about that. He was like, "All right," he was like, "Oh, um, my daughter's probably thinking this dude needs to shave," and I was like, "Don't do that," because when Drew shaved, Anthony cried for like weeks. And he was like, well, Drew's beard's magnificent. That's probably why. And I was like, no, it used to be like flimsy and pitiful. <laughs> hey. It was. That's not nice. It was. So, okay, so I get to choose. Thank you, Lim. <laughs> I get to choose another one. I'm not using the tool. I decided not to. I can put this six right here. Now I'm trying to spread out so that way I have more options. So right now I've got all this. All right, you get to choose between a yellow six or a yellow two. You know, you're just helping me with that last square. Or the the last square card because I have a bunch of yellow going on. Um, that's fine because I'm hate drafting the blues. I know, I see that. <laughs> so that's... This is supposed to be a peaceful game and you're hate drafting. So it's helping me with that too. You know what? What? I'm going to use a tool. <gasps> but first I have to draft. So I'm going to draft this. And then I'm going to do that. No. Yes. Come on. Kiss me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hi, time roller. What up, time roller? All right, so this six is going to go to the two track. Look at all the yellows up there. Oh, yeah. Bag, please. Uh, nope. Uh-oh. Really? Time roller. You come in here and somebody just do... Well, I mean, he is blue and green. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cthulhu is blue and green. He's just cursed. He's just cursed. Yeah. It's going to be all He's still blue and green, now. though. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Five dice. Yes, I do have five dice. And they're all different colors. Look at that. Look at that color spread Oh, they're right finally there. green. Look at that. Look how pretty that looks. I'm All right. draft that green. I don't care what number it is. <laughs> it's oh, man. I'm going to have to three, care about it a little bit, though. A three. A th this is Cthulhu. This is what he does. Oh, my gosh. Really? This is what Cthulhu is does. This? Because he messes with us so hard. Oh, he's so bad. You rolled, so it's my turn, right? No, I pick. No, you rolled. Yeah, so I choose first, and then you choose twice, and then I choose last. And then when it's your turn, you choose once, I choose twice, and then... I could have swore that you just went first. See, this is why I don't pay attention! You, you, you totally don't pay attention. So, you want that green, I need a green. No, you don't. <laughs> I need that green, because I can't use... Oh... <laughs> this is how it always is, TJ. <laughs> okay. Fine. No, you get to choose twice. That that's how it goes. He really does. <laughs> what? Um He really does what? Oh, they want you to dance. Who's making me dance? Um All of you. Oh, somebody's gonna take a turn for us. Wait a oh. second. Oh man, does that mean I have to wait? When did that come up? Plump, Pussy dance. Plumpy thimble. Hey, what turn are you taking? What do I gotta do? You taking her turn <laughs> or mine? How did you roll all three? What well, whim? That's <laughs> that's Cthulhu's fault, not mine. We've been rolling fine, and then I just <laughs> got here and make the worst move possible. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, okay, so does that mean the worst move as in something that's going to be, mess me up be illegal later? Because if that's the case, I mean, you could use the 
blue. Mm-hmm. I don't know what uh, worst move know. possible could yeah. be here. Because... Besides, like, messing up goals for later, like, the same color in a row or the same number in a row. Yeah, sort of that, thing. that would be the only thing that I can think of that would mess you up. The worst move possible without making it illegal. Would be the one going here. Yes, or... And, and then Or the red three or, going or, up yeah. top. Because if I place the, the yellow one Yeah, there, but that would I make would it be... illegal, though. Would it? Because yeah. it's technically not there. Yeah, but we don't want you I to have an illegal move. needs to be destroyed. Move. No! I love Cthulhu! <laughs> He's just damaged. See, Wim... Whim... Red three up top. Okay. Wim knows that... But now I get to take my second turn, right? <laughs> as long as it's not illegal. Yeah. Yeah, good. totally good. Totally okay. good. So, y y those of you that do know our history with Cthulhu... It's we... not a good one. <laughs> we constantly battle Cthulhu in in games, video games, in in books. We're constantly at battle with him. And so she decided to get me a dice tower with Cthulhu on it. And since and then I thought he was adorable. Since then <laughs> he has had a mind of its own. Yeah, he okay? does what he wants. Some games he will be friendly and roll some really good rolls. Other games, it's exactly what you saw here. Four threes. Yeah. Or yeah, four threes. So <laughs> this, so this guy truly is a curse and a blessing. So it, it it's doing what Cthulhu would do, causing chaos and madness. So speaking of chaos and madness, I think the whole card is playing uh, Mansions of Madness today. Board game blitz. Hey guys. Hey guys. Thanks for the raid. He's doing what today? Mansions of Madness. Mm hmm. Cool. I think I'll take. Um... Are you really gonna take that purple and leave all those yellows up there? Well, I can't take the one you can't because take it at all? I have a one down here in the corner. Mm. I can take the yellow and put it here. No, because I have a one in that corner. So the only thing the trail I trail house on the hill. It was one of those games. Something with spookiness. <laughs> hey, Ambi. I'm forgetful. <laughs> the only move I have is the three. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing I can take. Oh no, I can't because there's a three right there. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Predicament there. That sucks too. No, I got it. Do you? Yes. You can't have the same number in the column for the goal. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> oh, that screwed me up so bad. One, two, three, four. I tell you what, I can use the one then. I will use the one right here. And the purple three will go up to round three. Ah. I know. I'm going to grab him by the head. Uh, we're keeping the six? Yes. Okay. I don't know what else happened. I uh, can't see through his tentacles. Oh we, my gosh, why are there so many threes? We've got a, uh, a blue five and a six. Okay. A purple four and two green threes. This is so bad. Cthulhu is laughing. Raider of the Meeple Grinder. Yay! Raiders of the Meeple Grinder. We don't have a cool pirate hat like you guys, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for raiding in, guys. All right, so I get to go first. Do you want to throw a shout out for them? Mm, yeah. Maybe. Or uh, Wim could do it if he's still hanging out. Yeah, I was like, it's my turn. Hang on. <laughs> oh, Let's gosh. see what they were playing. What would Cthulhu's laugh sound like? Like Nesty's? Um, it would probably sound <laughs> really bubbly. Like underwater laughing. I go first, right? Yes. Yes. Like, I don't know how bubble laughs would sound like. You have a request? Yeah, can you shout out uh, board game blitz for me, please? The Dice Tower is cursed? <laughs> well, you guys bring it out all the time. Yeah. I just bought it. You guys are the ones that bring <laughs> it out. I granted I put the channel point uh, mm. summoning 
option there, but you guys want him out. SpongeBob laugh confirm. I don't sound like SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, I'm gonna take this blue five. Dude, I am not getting any green. There's two greens there. I know. <laughs> and. Need to update my Ema to have a pirate hat. Yeah, that would be cool. I will take one of these green. Threes. You know the underwater la Oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Do I want to put this here? That's not gonna mess anything up, will it? No, it won't. Okay. Cool. You got a <laughs> what? Time roller with my name. <laughs> Stop it. Don't make fun of me. That reminds <laughs> me. I need to update my emotes to have a pirate hat. Mm -hmm. Do it. SpongeBob laugh comfort. No. It's more bubbly. Oh, crackers. I don't know what to do. You don't have the command? Okay, I mean, what, I could really? do it. Sorry. I can do it. Wish there was a way to um, do it real quick, but... <laughs> Yeah, I bought it off Etsy. It's 3D printed, though. I don't know what I want to do with these dye. They're terrible. I can't use that one. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that worked. There we go. Thank you. Let's go follow those guys. Oh, he did it. <laughs> he, he did the wrong thing. What? Who did Lem, it's up there. See? It's right oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just did a it's cool. thing I got instead it. of another thing. What's on the it. other side of the three? <laughs> um, all si um, opposite sides of the dice add up to seven. So it's a four. I gotta use that. Where is that one? This one? The grinding stone, yes. So three is gonna be a four. Okay, cool. Did you see all the games will be given away for our streamsies? I did. That's why I'm trying to uh, hype it up in the, the Facebook group so everybody can come and hang out with you guys. Oh, good thing. So my my window's looking super colorful right now. Uh, I need some more greens, though. Yeah. Okay, I only got we're one green. We're not getting that? Huh? As if we're not getting green? Well, I'm not getting green. There's only one blue, so I might just draft that one away from you. <laughs> Alright, Cthulhu. That was a six. I will rage quit this stream if you don't roll good numbers. <laughs> uh, green four, red three, blue one, purple one, purple six. Okay. I'm not hating currently. <laughs> um, so far, I'm doing good on the uh, column shade variety and the color variety. So, oh, I think I, I think I'm gonna score pretty pretty good here. I was like, why did I place this red three here? And I forgot somebody took my turn for me to mess me up. <laughs> I was like, why would I do that? Bumpy Thimble took your turn. <sighs> <laughs> I hate that channel point. <laughs> You're welcome. They love it. Hey. You rolled drafty draft. I know, I'm thinking. Um, no. <laughs> I can't use the green four because I have green right next to it. And I can't put the four down here because, you know, there's a four right here. Um, man, can't use the purple one here. Dude, this is not, <laughs> this is can not cool. Can I use the red three? No, I can't. Why? What's the top row look like? Well, I can use the red, I can use a red here, but the three I can't use because there's a oh, three right next to it. Oh, there's a three there. It looks like you're gonna be having to uh I can do some stuff. I can use the blue one right here. No, you can't. Because there's a yellow one right there. Oh. <laughs> you should have never said anything. I know, that would have been amazing. I can't use any ones here. 
Green four is not usable here. I don't have any twos. The yeah. only thing I can possibly use is the six right up here. Hello, Duchess. How are you, lovely? So I'm going to use the six. Are you sure? Yes. Now you get to choose twice. So to try not to screw me too hard there. I'm not making promises. Happy Monday, Duchess. We're playing this super colorful Sagrada base game. <laughs> huh? Not that. Huh? What did you leave me with? Nothing. <laughs> A big old nothing. I took what I needed. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's what she said. I laughed at what TJ said. Does anyone else say Sagrada in conjunction with Moana. the Moana song? Come mm. on, Anthony was obsessed with Moana. You know this song. Don't pretend you don't. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I've never... I've never put Sagrada in that song. I'm currently doing it in my head. You're doing it... <laughs> Well, look, everybody's doing it in their head now. Oh, 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 they're jumping everywhere. Oh, Whoa. this is horrible. Go <laughs> and I roll. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I roll? What How did Cthulhu allow you to roll? How That's the better question. I will oh my tell God. You I rolled all sixes. Holy crap. Okay, so we've got a yellow six, a purple six, a red six, a purple six, and a green five. Because, you know, he was feeling generous. This is so <laughs> bad. How did I manage to do that? Oh, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Oh, boy. Okay. You haven't watched Moana yet? It's actually a really good movie. I liked it. I like my one. What? Huh? You sure? Yes. You, you sure? <laughs> you hate drafted the blues. No, I didn't. I have three blues on mine. You have three also. <laughs> if anything, you're hate drafting the green because I only have not two. Not the game for that kind of world. No, it's not. <laughs> I have to get my daughter from school. I'll try to hop on catch the rest of the stream. Well, thanks for hanging out, TJ. Can't even roll Yahtzee with <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, I got four of a kind. That's good. Let's change the game really fast. I don't know what to do. The thing is, I have to use a tool. You're welcome. Mm, don't even. I don't even want to hear it. I can't hear you over my happiness. All right. I'm going to use the grinding stone. Wait. Do I want to do that? We roll... All the dice in the draft pool. This uh... You can't do it until you draft one. Yeah, I know. That may be something I could use. Because this is ridiculous right Can here. you use anything up top? Like for the lens? No, I don't want to use two of these. Oh. Um, okay, here's, here's the thing. I can use the yellow six right here. Why do you need to use a tool? That's what Duchess said. Because she rolled all sixes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm she, okay with She rolled them all. I did not. Actually, Cthulhu rolled all those. Um, I'm trying to <laughs> get as many points as possible with these uh, extra goals here. Yeah, I don't know how great that's going to be. All right, so the thing is... You have an open six and a blank, she says. <clears throat> She's looking at your board. I can't see I it know. from here. So maybe um, you your goodie stuff. Well, here's... Yes, this is open. Okay. I can... The thing is, is that the shade variety here is going to get messed up if I use it here. Because it's all sixes. I already have a six. Yeah. The color variety is going to be fine if I use the yellow. But I'll lose those points for the shade variety. Yeah. 
I can put the six here, which is gonna be the yellow six, which will be okay. However, on my next pick, You're it will, have to use yeah, I'm gonna have to use, <clears throat> unless I re-roll. But then again, it might screw me. However, let's just try it. So I, I drafted one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the glazing hammer to re-roll these three. Get your stupid tentacles in there. I hope you roll all threes. Are you kidding me? I mean, two out of three. <laughs> a red three, a purple three, and a purple four. What am I supposed to do with those? I can use that purple four right here dude that was not thank you Cthulhu no why is he being helpful I don't like this because you're making fun of me and rushing me all right so you get to choose between the red three and the purple three mm, I don't like the red you can use them all purple four there you go yeah Rerolling won't change the colors. No, but it will change the numbers. Yeah, they just went halvesies. They were sixes and they turned to threes. Cthulhu was like, okay, okay. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing stuff up. I'm not sorry, but let me try and fix it. Let me try to do it again. Let me try and fix it. I told you, Cthulhu... Uh-oh. All the greens. Oh, man. And I get to roll first, but you get to choose twice. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. How bad is that? Uh, not, not great. Oh, my gosh. They're all ones. What is Cthulhu doing? <laughs> okay, so we've got um, a green one, a green four, and a green three. A red one and a purple one standing by. I should have said red one standing by, but. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me get the. Oh, God, it's all bad. <laughs> it's all bad, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything good about this one. Choose wisely. I am. Because I, I can use quite a few of them. I just need blues for my... What, 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 what? What, what you getting there? <laughs> I'm thinking. No, no. You, you, you got to play. You got to go think faster. Okay. Your turn. My turn? I don't know what to do now. You took the one that I wanted. Sucks for you. <laughs> okay. I'll take the green one. Um, man, I'll also take the green three and put it right here. Okay. I think I did good there. Okay. Green four or purple one. Mm. Purple one. Thanks, Duchess. You are so supportive of my rolls. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so sad. She knows I roll horribly. She does. Everybody who has watched us for a long time know that my weakness is luck and rolling. Yeah. I can't roll to save my butt. You are up. Cthulhu is ready. No, he's going to wait. <laughs> Do you want me to like hold it like this so you can? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. There's going all over the place. Okay, not so bad. We got a green two, a blue two, a purple five. Was this my roll? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Because I felt like I went first last time. A red six and a purple five. No, I went first because I got all the greens. Okay. So there you go. You get to pick first. Oh, crackers. Right? I 
Well, I need a five, but I can't use either one of those. Um, can't use the red or the purple? Mm -mm. Can't use the purple because there's a purple there. Can't use the red because I have a red in the row. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, I can, but I'm not going to. Oh. Well, you have two pearls left. You can use the grinding stone for... No, you can't. If it was a yellow, you could possibly do it. Let me... Crap, I can't grab the red either because of that stupid red three. Mm. <laughs> There's nothing about moving stuff on this board in those cards either. Yeah. Oh, man. That, um, you could always switch really with one. That's really going to mess me up. Yeah. It may be your only play. But you've also got one thing left mm, you can, no. one tool you can use. I want to take this. Why? <clears throat> to put it there. That's not cool. I got to kind of do it. I know. It's okay. I believe. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I do. Do you? Yeah. I'm going to take this red five standing by. And I'm going to take this green two, oh. put it right here. And now you're left with uh, a blue two and a purple five. That purple five you can use on that top of the... Um, Second row next to the green, um, next to the purple, um, jeez. Red? Red, six. Is that your final pick? Yeah. You got it? All right, two more rounds left. All right, we, we're going to have to um, get some good rolls here. Because I need a one, a two, and a five. Because we're getting down to the point where... We might not be able to use anything that we roll. Yeah. So, so yeah. And I've already used so many of my mm -hmm. gemstones. Yeah, so, so placement is very important. I'd like a purple six. You'd like a purple six? Possibly. Um, okay. It's possible. Oh! <gasps> wow, Cthulhu is listening to you. Not to me, because we've got a purple six, a mm -hmm. yellow one, a red four, and two blue twos, which I cannot use in one spot. Um, however, I will take this blue two, put it right here. And it is your turn to pick two. I really wish you didn't pick that one. <laughs> that one as in the purple six or the actual one? The the one. <clears throat> the yellow one. Uh... I really locked myself in though. I need a two and a five in specific colors. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't even use the grinding stone on this blue too because it'll be a five. And I have a red five down here. Mm. You can put the uh, the blue two in the corner, can't? Oh, well, I can't see if that's a number. No, no, it's a one. I just can't see it from here. That's why. Yeah quite the puzzle here um i think i'm gonna have to let go of one of these goals here is there anything in the i can use the blue two is there anything up there that you can use to switch it out um yellow two nope there's there's a purple one i can use that but it's going to mess up my color variety um 
Let me see. Blue six I can't use for this. The blue two I can't use for it either. Man. And the only twos up there is the yellow, and I have a yellow one here. Um, like I said, the purple one up there is can fit here, but it's going to mess that up. Yeah. So since it is going to mess it up, I might as well just do it. Yeah, so I'll put the two here. Okay. That will mess up my color variety in that column. But not the number one. But not so. the number, not the shade yeah. variety. So, I mean, you can't do it all. <clears throat> Here we go. Over. Yeah. Ew. I still have some tools I can use, so I, I gladly saved it for the end. How bad is it? Uh, green too. Nope. Yellow four. Mm -mm. Red five standing by. Mm. Blue five. And oh, a purple that. four. So the only blue that I have here, I can't use. I can't even change it with the grinding stone. I have to mess up another one of my rows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I, I, I can't use any of them. That sucks. Um, the, uh, well, I can totally switch out the, uh, purple one and put it here, but like I said, that's going to mess up that row, which is going to be messed up anyway. Yeah. Cause there's nothing I can do to fix that. Huh. Okay. I'm going to have to do it. So what do you need? The green two? You can't even use the green two. Nope. So does it matter what I pick up, honestly? Because I don't think so. All right, so I'm going to just draft... I'll go ahead and just switch it out with the purple. So I'm going to use two yeah. for the lens cutter, which will allow me to switch this out with one on the uh, round track. So I will take this one, put that here, and that will go there. So now to use the lens cutter, I would have to use three? No, you still use I two. I still to do yeah. two? It's just the first time it's used, you only pay one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every other time, if someone has used it, it's always one more. So if it's if it's just one, if you're using it for the first time, then it's two every time after. Okay. Hmm. Well, I've got one more to pick up, so... <laughs> Hi, Baz. Hey. <laughs> Isn't that the fancy alcohol we get at Benihana? Um, no. <laughs> it might be. So I can't use anything. No? No. Because it is a blue spot. Okay. That means my turn. So, yeah, it is. it is your turn. You still get to choose one. I'm drafting this and then trading it in. For what? That? Yep, because I can use it. Oh. You. No. I finished my board. You finished your <laughs> board. And now these two will go up here. Okay. So that is the end of the game. 
Cthulhu's. No, yeah, Cthulhu. Thanks. <laughs> All those sixes and threes. All right. So the neat thing about this is that this round track here turns into a score track. Mm -hmm. See? And then we take our little tokens and put them on the side here. And then, and as we're counting our score up, we will slide our um, score token over. Um, do you remember what we start with? Um, nope. Well, I will Because the app does it for me. The app does it for you. <laughs> oh, my. I know. Okay. I'm app spoiled. So, each player tallies their victory point total, gaining points from public objective cards, which okay. are these right here. Okay. So we're going to score you first on one card, and then we'll score me for, um, next. Okay. Okay, since I went first to play the game. Column, color, variety. Yeah. So you're going to need... Two out of four. Two out of four columns? Yeah. So that's five points per column. Yep. Yeah. So you get ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you are blue? Yep. Yeah. So you are at ten points already. Okay, so for me, I've got one and two. So I also have ten. Column shade variety. What do you got? Um, You've got one so far. Four out of five. Four out of five? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so that's four points per column. So that's 16 points right there. Yeah. So you're all the way up to... Um, I didn't notice I messed up the first column in that. I thought I had all of them. You're all the way up to 26 already. <laughs> Bonus Johns is like, I scored 20. No! He scored 20. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what am I at? So that's 4, 8, 12... Oh, I'm at 16 also. Yeah. Wow. He's like, and I have a 7 by 7. I have a 7 and a 7? He must be playing um, Sagrada Last Chance. <laughs> okay. okay, color diagonals. So we're going to count... All of them? Um... <laughs> Somebody oh. in chat said, do you get your board gaming power from your beard? <laughs> yes. I don't, because yes, I, I do. don't have one. <laughs> I act, I'm just lucky. No, I do take care of my beard. I, I do, like, use oils and stuff. I'm not, like, trying to be, like, pampered or anything, but... Ooh, we got a raid. Ooh, hello, raiders. Thank you for the raid. Thanks for the raid. Hard board games, hey. Thank you for the follow. LNX Seuss, thanks for the follow. What were you guys doing? Let's see what you're doing here. Oh, hard board game. That's uh, their video game channel. Oh. Nice. Let's shout out HBG2. Oh, it sounds like I got to go follow somebody else. <laughs> Um, oh, it's unrecognized. Did I do something wrong? Did you not do it right? <laughs> I thought I did do it right. HBG2. That's what I did. Yeah? Let me see. Yeah, I did, um, and O H B two. There we go. I think I got it. Right? Did you go? Ah, I forgot the G. Guys. I have it. Oh, my gosh. It just keeps going. No, you see, I was doing that so that <laughs> she could do it. I was messing up on purpose so that she can do it. So I learn how to do it. So you oh. learn how to do it. Yeah. GeoGuessr. You know, I've not tried that game. I have not tried it. 
All right, so we're just going for the third card now. Yes, diagonal. And so it's all the diagonals. All of the same colored diagonals. Okay. Okay. So, so like I would score this, then this, and then that. Um, let me see if there is a um. Ah. Got a head. Sounds about to die. I'm leaving work. Thanks for stopping in, Chris. It's always great when you guys get to hang out. Yeah, we're gonna try to. Thanks, LNX. Um, where are those things? Where what? Don't they tell you uh, how to mm -mm. score it? No, they don't. No. Well, okay. The card tells you. It just says color diagonals. Yes, yeah, so all diagonals touching each would score. Okay, yeah. Yeah. How long have we been in the board No games? problem, Chris. Um, like I said, if you guys ever need anything for your streams, you know, let us know. And if, if we can give what we can, then, you know, then we will. Hey, TJ. You're coming in and Chris is leaving. <laughs> you um, just keep swatch, swapping places. You do not have 30 diagonals. <laughs> I, I, like that, I like that handle, NPC Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have been into board gaming for oh man. I don't know. It's been it's been a few years. Yeah, it's been a few years. Um, um but we only started streaming well not even a year ago. Yeah, it was in September of last year, I believe we started streaming, the end of September. But we've been into board gaming for for a couple of years. Um it's just recently that we've started streaming it, so. And I'm glad we did. It's it's fun. We need viewers on Thursday night. I know. Look, I'm shouting you out again. <laughs> what was the game that got you into the hobby? Uh, I do need tips. I do need to figure out how to run all of these giveaways if you have tips. Um, we usually do hours with our... Um, or bots yeah. um the moo bot that we use which i don't even know if oh yeah it's it's doing its thing the moo bot we use has a giveaway thing where where you put in a a word that people have to say or type in chat and then when they do it enters them into a drawing and when you close the drawing it doesn't take any more of the words that come up and then it randomly picks one person from that um, drawing list. Yeah. And then it announces it on stream. So that's how we do it. We so, have a lot of that going so on. So if you've got a bot <laughs> that can do that, just play around with it. Um, that's the best way to really learn. Um, Good night, Wim. What was the game that got you into the <laughs> hobby? Oh, man. The first game we bought, or the first game that actually got me into wanting to play board games? The first game that got you into the hobby. I know the first game we bought was... Well, the first game we received... Was NPC Small Aaron, World. thanks for the follow. First game we received was Small World from a friend. Yeah. Now, we didn't play it because... Um, it looked too overwhelming. It, it, <laughs> for for us being first-time gamers it was very overwhelming yeah oh man but now i play it all the time i think i all think that. the first game that really got us going was castle panic because we actually played with the kids when we got it and yeah. it was a co-op game dragonwood yeah and dragonwood that was good but then we got into more um i guess and then it was pandemic yeah, Pandemic was another big one. We started doing a lot of co-op stuff. I'm trying to look at our game shelf. <laughs> um, yeah, co-op games really brought us in. Definitely Pandemic. And then Forbidden Island was another one that drew us close, you know, more into the hobby. Yeah. And then we started getting into the, the harder stuff. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. Yeah. But we started getting into uh, Lord of the Rings, um, Champions of Midgard, which is definitely not co-op. Um, 
Mansions of Madness, for sure, was one that we what absolutely was the loved. Baldur Gate. Baldur's Gate. Uh, that we have. That had the tiles. Betrayal? That yeah, that one. Betrayal at Baldur's Gate was definitely another one. Um, and we that have was a, one of our first like big games. And we think. we just grew from there. Honestly, now it's overwhelming. <laughs> now I have so much. Um, I've messed up. I messed with the bots a bit, so that'll probably be the easiest. Um, first stream, yes. Yeah. Uh, Puerto Rico got Time Roller into it, I believe, if mm -hmm. that's what he's saying. Yeah. Board Home says though, um, the hard one will. Be a couple of games that we are going to require a donation to be entered. So just organizing that will be a little work. Yeah. Yeah, that one's a little tricky. Um, NPC Aaron says that's cool. What are some of your favorite games? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have so many. So many. Um, my top. Like this week. <laughs> <laughs> my top three, and we'll. Probably the hardest to bump off would be Champions of Midgard is definitely at the very top for me. You know one of my top games. Um, Arkham Horror is another one. Any of the Arkham games, I'm going to put that into... <laughs> That's just going to be a thing. The number two spot. Anything... Well, can I just roll with roll of rights into one category? All of them. <laughs> anything Arkham Horror. Um... I don't know what my third one would be. It's really hard to choose games. Um, I'm really big into those big adventure games with the minis. Yeah. I really love those things. And co-ops are something that I gravitate towards. Even though Champions of Midgard is not a co-op. I'm currently obsessed with... Um, um, okay, so if I had to pick Arnak. a third... <laughs> that one. If I had to pick a third game... It would be uh, Ruins of Arnak. I absolutely love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, TJ says, you see how much they are charging for the Lux Castle Pen? Yes. Yeah, I did. I don't like that. No. I want it. I backed uh, Robinson Caruso, the Kickstarter that just ended a little while ago. Yeah. The... Um, uh, the the everything the everything <laughs> <laughs> the everything edition the the so new bad. the new figures the expansion stuff like that we backed that one recently we uh we backed a whole bunch of stuff recently but it was super expensive like it's crazy the ex the most expensive Kickstarter I have so far um that I've backed is Hell the Last Saga. Which came yeah. in at around two hundred and eighty dollars, <laughs> which I'll probably never get. Don't say that. <laughs> um, NPC Aaron says, "Be careful, board at home. Depending on where you are at, and the people entering, it might legally constitute a raffle. There are yeah, laws around. We, yes, we have a few people that can't go into our giveaways because of that too. Yeah." That is very true. Arnak is really good. Um, I do think it will win this year. Oh, I hope it does. I really do. Um, I'm glad that it is on BGA. Um, also, if you're on Board Game Arena, you can add us. Yeah. We play games all the time on there. And we play on Fridays on Board Game Arena. What's... And she plays most of the time at night. Yeah. So, if you want to add us on BGA, um, I'm Meeple Grande, and you are Misty Mountains Girl. The same as our um, tags on here. Yeah. I tagged our Facebook group thing, too. Cool. Uh, TJ says, so sad. Uh, want it, too. Can't afford all of it. Yeah, that's the sad part. We love Castle Panic. And that Kickstarter, like, I wanted it so bad. It's just too much. It's way too much. I'm obsessed with Arnak right now. And, uh, wow, oh, hey. thank you. Thanks for the sub, NPC Aaron. And I play a lot of Similo. So Similo is always going to be at the top of my list. Similo, yes. And Hanabi. Great game choices, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, I think so too. 
We we play some pretty good games. Um, there, we actually got New York Zoo. Oh, that's what we were gonna play which today. We were supposed to play today, but we Crap. decided to play. No, Sagrada is perfectly fine. We can play that anytime. Yeah, I was like, I knew there was something. I did get Bloodborne. Um. Oh God, we haven't played that yet either. Yeah, I've not played Bloodborne yet, but that is one of those games that is very mini heavy. And it's supposed to be just like the video game where you, you when you die, everything respawns and it's very grindy. Draylon, don't you even with Arnak right now. But I do want to <laughs> I do want to pull Bloodborne out to the table soon. I have to say something. When Draylon comes to visit, he is playing Arnak. Your unplayed <laughs> Kickstarter pile is enormous. Oh, I'm sure it is. Um, I don't think we have any unplayed games. Do we? Besides the ones we just get? Or just got? Mm. Um, the only ones we have not played so far... We haven't played Sleeping Gods. Sleeping Gods, Bloodborne, and uh, New York Zoo. Trails of Takana. No, we've played it before. I have not played Trails of Takana. Okay. And we haven't played these two. Um, yeah, Endless Pass and... Oh, the Amaki. Why do we have so many games? So many stuff. So much stuff. <laughs> um, everything else we've played. So Time Lord says I have the Bloodborne card game. Do you have the board? I have the board game, have, not like, the, the card board, game. Board game. Yeah. Have I finished? No, we haven't even started <laughs> scoring for this. We got distracted. This one here. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna count the pips. Yeah. Of all the diagonals that have the same that color. That all touch. The same color. Yeah. Okay. So right here so I, I have... Total them all up? Yeah. So right yeah. here I have three green die. Okay. It's so it's three, four, five, six. So six pips for the green. And I've got another six for these two. So that's 12. I have 35. Wow. You can move your thingy up if you want. <laughs> okay. So that's six. This is six also. I've got 13, 14, 15, 17 so far. Okay, 17 and 10 is 27. Plus four is 31. And I think that's all I have as far as diagonals go. Yes? <laughs> 31. Yeah. I popped up to uh, 61. Oh. Yeah. So you're up there. Yep. Yeah. So 31 and 26 is 57. Mm -hmm. So I'm at 57. Don't ask me how I counted that that fast. You do math all the time. Are there any new or upcoming games you are looking forward to trying? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I want to play Canvas. We did kickstart Canvas this round, but I won't get that until next year. So unfortunately, I would not be playing that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. That's funny because I didn't even look at chat, and Lenny said it. Canvas. Yeah, Canvas <laughs> seems like a a, a really artsy um puzzle game so i can't i can't wait till you get it yep. um it'll we, be for my birthday next we year we <laughs> did back the the reprint of it yeah so we'll be getting that probably in february creature comforts and project i oh i don't know what what i would what i'm looking forward to i mean hmm I don't remember everything we've kickstarted lately. <laughs> I'm really, I really want, I was really hoping to get hell, you know, yeah. in the time frame that it was supposed to be here. But, you know, we're not going to get that. Nope. Um, I am looking forward to playing the um, adventure book for um, Robinson Crusoe. I yeah, love, I love having that survival game. 
I love type. the stress and anxiety the of stress. that game. Yeah. And then I need a drink afterwards. <laughs> so definitely I'm looking forward to playing that Robinson Crusoe, the adventure book um, part of it. We've played the, you know, scenario stuff. Yeah. But that one's going to be fun. Do you like Friday? We have not We have not played, played it, Friday. but we gave it away. We did have it as a giveaway, yes. Yeah. I don't really solo game. I I will play with random people on BGA before I solo game. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's just not my thing. I saw what you said too, Karen, about playing Castles of Burgundy again. Mm, I'm ready. I do like Castles of Burgundy. <laughs> we played with Ryan on Saturday. Um, wait, I also would love to uh try red rising that's one that i'm looking forward to it is a card game i don't remember that one it is a card game and it has a little bit of take that to it i played boomerang europe last night on alpha Ooh, that was nice you love it just got under falling skies too you play solo when you don't have people who will play. <laughs> I know. You know, if you would play online, I will play with you. <laughs> Alright, so private objectives. Um, shades of green. So the sum of values on green dice for me. For you, it's blue. It's so bad. So I have 3, 6, 9, 12. I have 8. So... Is it 57 plus 12? Somebody say burgundy. Yes, 16. Ryan. We were just talking about you. <laughs> My castles of burgundy senses were tingling. We had fun the other night. It was, it was fun. I only have eight. I have you have eight? eight? Yeah. So. so 58. I love your Instagram photo of Villainous Movers. I was the lead designer on Villainous. And his first two expansions. Holy crap, really? Wow. That's awesome. She absolutely loves Villainous. Yeah, that's one of my favorite games. Like, we have every single one so far, except for yeah. the Marvel one. But. Which our game store hasn't gotten yet. Well, have I'm they not, gotten it? I'm not necessarily interested. You're in not that in one. superheroes. No. I am. <laughs> I am. But we have we have all of the villainous. We missed out on the um, special edition for the uh, Cruella yeah. because I didn't know Target had their special like little piece in it. But it got the I had on no one. idea there was a thing. <laughs> but you did get the guest on one, yeah. Which I made sure that I got from Target. But you absolutely love that game, like, and when we have enough people to play, that's the first thing you want to play. Villains. Probably. You like those take that games though. I do. I'm vicious. Uh, <laughs> last time <laughs> last time we played, I played with Scar and I destroyed you. I was Scar, one of the new characters. Scar is awesome. Was I Gaston? No, I wouldn't have been Gaston. No. Was the, the newest one. No, I think I played as Gaston. And yeah. Did I did I lose that one too? I played somebody in the new box, and now I can't remember who's in the new box. You played one that um, you had to turn some people into things. I don't know the characters because I'm not. It's gonna drive me nuts until I go look. <laughs> She's more into Disney than I am, but I do love the game and. The fact that you oh, guys... Oh, I was the Horned King. How could I forget that? The fact that you guys put Scar in the game was just amazing. I was like, yes, Scar. How have you not heard of this game, Lenny? <laughs> yeah, I was uh, the Horned King. And I was so excited when the Horned King came out because it's one of my favorite Disney movies. Scar is a deck you designed? Well, <gasps> hey, that is my <laughs> favorite one to play. I th I've won quite a bit. Um, it's because Scar is very aggressive. I love that the hyenas... Why haven't I asked you to play this game? When are you coming to visit me? <laughs> oh, wow. So you didn't work oh. on that box. Because you guys were bought by Funko Games. Oh. 
Well, I mean, you guys did a, a really awesome job on the game. Yeah. Fact is, I, Scar is my absolute favorite to play. I, I will don't have always a pick. Character. I will always pick Scar because he's just so aggressive. The hyenas have teamwork. Baz, you keep your salt to yourself. <laughs> you know, guys, I'm always down to board game. That is a lie. Don't you make me dance. I'm angry. <laughs> it's, it's also, also on, on tabletop simulator. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So we, I mean, we can play it on tabletop simulator all together. I don't yeah. see why not. Since we have the games already, I don't yeah. feel bad playing it on there since we have them. You get a pouty dance though. <laughs> but I mean, I I can't wait till the next one. I I, I don't know what they're possibly going to come out with. But the Marvel one... I never thought that they would come out with something yeah. as classic as the Horn King. I was really excited about that. You were. And you tried your hardest in that game. I did. Oh, man. It was so <laughs> hard. <laughs> you tried so hard, but Scar kept just doing his thing. You kept pulling out these guys. You kept pulling out the heroes, and Scar just kept taking them down. And I was like, yeah! There's no heroes in that game. <laughs> What do you mean? There's there's plenty here. There's Mufasa. There's no, I'm not talking Simba. about the Lion King and you and your cliff. I'm talking about the Horn King. Oh. I had to keep converting my soldiers over. <laughs> By the Hokar way, TJ says, said, uh, what is your favorite? Or he asked, what's your favorite superhero? That was way, way up there. I'm sorry. Um, me, Deadpool. By far. I tell him I don't have a favorite superhero. I, I'm a sucker for villains. Deadpool. He's not sugar. quite a superhero though. He's he's a little bit of both. But if you want a true superhero, uh man. That's asking. Um I can't pick anyone that's a real true superhero as in good. It's between Venom and Deadpool. I can't choose anyone else. Um to me Venom is a good guy. <laughs> Baz says it's him. <laughs> nice. Uh, we should probably finish scoring. We're almost done. You have to score the uh, the favor token things. Favorite They're not token? called favor tokens. <laughs> That's a different game. No, I scored them already. Did you? Oh, no. No, you did not These, no. You've got to score those, and then you're going to One victory happy. point for each unspent. Yeah. So I have two. So I move up two? Yep. Is this green or blue? I got it. Yeah. You beat me Is by two it? points. Yeah. Ooh, because I didn't use the favor the these They're not favor tokens. That's a different game. No, they are favor tokens. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Maybe they no. Oh, they okay. are favor tokens. Oh, I was yeah. thinking of something different. You know what? Um when Lenny comes out we should play a round of villainous. <gasps> Lenny, you gonna play villainous? We should do that on our charity stream when he comes out. Ooh. Oh, that is so close. It's like 28 days. Yeah, it's very close. I'm so excited. So are you down for that, Lenny? Are you down to learn uh, Villainous? I promise you I won't I won't hurt you too much. He won't throw you off a cliff like I Simba. Won't, <laughs> I won't throw you off the cliff. <laughs> Yay! You're in? Sweet. Awesome. <laughs> are you playing another game? Today? Um, today? I don't think so. I think this was it. So I won. Gotta go take it easy. All right. Bye, Bones John. Thanks All right. See you later. Out. Thanks for coming by. Um, so what was the score? The score was 69 to, wait, no. Yeah. 69 to 71. And by the way, she logs every single game that we play. Every single game that she plays. Yeah. With oh anybody, boy. she logs in her book. So by the end of the year, <laughs> we're going to have just a giant like list of games that she's played. Baz, behave. <laughs> hey, I like it. <laughs> Baz, stop it.
he liked one of my photos on Facebook of me in the forest when I went with Katie, and I was like, all I could think about was legs. <laughs> They're gonna come oh, after me. He's like, no, not legs. Can you imagine if they made that into a board game? <laughs> the forest, the board game. <laughs> Toy play. <player. laughs> Seventy-one was my number in high school football. Uh huh. Sure, Baz. I know you too well. <laughs> All right, so you do the same? Awesome. I, I I have seen that as a trend lately. Well, not lately, but... I wish I would have started at the beginning of the pandemic. I've seen a lot of people But I started their stuff. at the beginning of this year. Yeah. Um, you guys know if there's an app for that? There or, is. There is? Yeah. Is it from BGG? It or? is. Oh. I mean, there's a few others, but there, that's what everybody uses because it... It links everything together. I mean, you just stay traditional and use pen and paper. That's why I have a fancy notebook and a million different colored pens. However, it's not going to count how many games you've played for you. You're going to have to do that yourself. I mean, BGA does, and that's most of my gaming currently. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't count all the games that we play. I know. So. And it doesn't count like what we play with the whole card and... All right, so lots of stuff. So that is it for us today. That was a short stream. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'm starving. I you didn't are. eat today. Um. So yeah, let me just say again. Um. You know, thank you guys for coming by for watching. Thank you, all of you for the raid. Yeah, we got some um, raids. Today. Yeah, we got a couple. Of that was pretty cool. Pretty awesome raids. We have to go and follow. Uh, Heartboard games video game stream. Don't forget oh, we that. will. We will. Um, I just want to uh, bring up again that uh, Board at Home, uh, Chris and TJ are going to be doing their um, charity stream this Saturday, May 22nd. Um, they're going to be uh, streaming for the Children's Tumor Foundation. Uh, they're fighting neurofibromatosis. So hard to say. This is why Misty doesn't do words. <laughs> so if you've if you've got a chance to to swing by, I think they are starting at eleven a.m. Eastern Central 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 Yeah. Eleven a.m. Central. TJ, so, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that's what I saw. <laughs> yeah, it's always great when you get to come in. Um, but yeah, they they are doing this for twelve hours. And they're going to be giving away a bunch of games and stuff. And they're, they're going to have a whole bunch of guests yeah. um, from from different uh, publishers. Is Horrible Guild going to be there too? I think Horrible Guild is going to be there, right? Um, yes. Could have swore Horrible Guild, some someone from Horrible Guild will be on your stream playing. And also watch them on Thursday yeah. nights. Thursday nights, yeah. Yeah. Since they need some people to watch them on Thursdays. It's so funny when they're like, hey. <laughs> I never see you guys go on on Thursday. Yeah, they, they go on at like 10 p.m. our time. 10 p.m.? Oh, think. that's why. Yeah, you're asleep. I always go in and chat with them. Oh, look, we got raided by a time roller. <laughs> time roller? <laughs> Hi, time roller. Thanks for the Hi, raid, Derek. man. I didn't see you. So, yeah, also this Saturday... Um, <gasps> are you really? What? TJ is talking about giving away some of his um, Ninja Turtle artwork. Oh, cool. I would Ooh. not mind getting some of that. I love TJ's Ninja background um, when he's streaming is amazing. He has so yeah, much. Yeah, I would. I love stuff. <laughs> the Ninja Turtles. I was. I grew up in the 80s. So Ninja Turtles were a big thing for me. I used to have all the ones that that transform into their shell. I mean, those are old. I mean, we have somebody else in chat that really likes the Ninja Turtles as yeah, well. Yeah, our friend Raph really loves the turtles. Well, so does Draylon. His dog's name is Leo. Yeah. <laughs> You're still growing up. I know. I'm never going to grow up. Not happening. Um. So, yeah. 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Central. Yes. Sweet. Also, oh, this sweet. Saturday, Ryan and Lenny... From, by the um, from the whole card, will be doing their charity stream also and eating horrible, horrible bean boozled stuff. 
these guys. I need to eat before Saturday so I don't get sick. <laughs> um, we have teamed up with them. Um, we are on their team, and we're all, um, we're all uh, donating and playing for mm-hmm. different uh, Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Yeah. So they've got their own hospital that they're um, playing for, and we've got our own hospital where our oldest has been treated. So. It is sort of personal for us, too. Yep. Um, so, yeah, they're going to be going on this Saturday also. At um, 3 p.m. At, Eastern. At 3 p.m. And they're going to be streaming <gasps> for quite a while. Look what Karen wrote. Officially joined the team. Welcome Aww, to the team, Karen. She makes me so happy. Welcome to the team. <laughs> so, so far, they, they've... Um, they've... Probably got, what, 15... One thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars. They've Wonder if I they've can raised. Scroll up that far and I believe that's what the number earlier. was. So far, okay. so that is not bad. And they are doing the charity streams all year long. So this is a year long thing. Yeah. So that's cool. So we are gonna be back and forth between those two streams because we're gonna support you guys as much as we can. It is all great stuff. You you guys are. You guys are heroes, like I said in our posts. And like I'm always going to say, you know, anybody that that goes out of their way to help kids is always going to be a hero. Karen, are you going to do the gross beans with us? Gross beans? <laughs> Remember, on um, on the whole card stream, every $25 is going to get you our... Horrible face. Uh, and on pictures. Fridays for us, every Friday for us, yeah, every twenty five dollars. Um, get us to do it. Let me tell you what: dirty dishwater is the most horrible taste ever. That and dead fish. I've only gotten like oh. two bad ones. Oh. You are? Oh no, Karen! I'm so sorry, but I love you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, guys. Um, hopefully, we get to see you guys on the weekend. Yep. Um, if not, you can still donate uh, without being on the stream. Just go to their channels and the um, same... in in the info, and they should have links in there for you guys to donate. Yeah, the same for um, Chris and TJ too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. So we all have links that we um, are able to donate to. So, so yeah. yeah, just check them out. Okay, if you can't be there, um, any little bit will do. So, with that said, thank you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching us play this game. I can't believe I lost by two points. Now I know how Lenny feels. <laughs> Thanks me. for watching me win <laughs> against her in one of her games. I know. I feel so bad. By two points because Ugh. of these fish pearls. So Favorite bad. tokens. <laughs> so I'm gonna bask in this victory. I'm gonna eat food, and she's gonna stress eat. <laughs> I, I am from I'm the loss. Stre- no, I'm stress eating because the dog's gonna be home in two days. Yes, I'm just excited. And we will integrate the dog into our stream somehow, whether it be an emote or he's getting his own chair. He's or, gonna sit right here, or some type of little graphic <laughs> that comes up where you get to feed the dog a treat or something. You can poop him. I'll work on it. <laughs> So yeah, um, tomorrow we are going to be back doing what? Um, possibly Sherlock? Yes, uh, tomorrow's maybe going to be our mystery Wednesday, um, Tuesday. Where yeah, we, Wednesday. Where we, do a, uh, where we do a mystery case where we have to solve. Uh, we've been doing Sherlock um, consulting detectives, so maybe we'll continue that. We'll have to read up on what we've done so far. Yeah. Draylon also okay. created a thing where it turns the dial thing. Oh, yeah, nice. I forgot to tell you about that. That's cool. <laughs> that is so cool. So yeah, if you guys like uh, Sherlock Holmes mysteries and stuff, come on by tomorrow and help us solve the case because you know for sure that we needed help. 
Oh, believe me, Karen, you will see him on Thursday. He we will be help. sitting right here, and I will be <laughs> playing with him the whole time and not paying attention to board games. <laughs> so who are we going to uh, raid here? Because um, we've got a whole let's... bunch of awesome people in our chat. So let's go raiding someone. And... What do we got? Um... Tell me, tell me. Tell me more. Do you guys have any Tell me suggestions? More. We will take any suggestions. That's interesting. Because I, I can't see who's on right here, right here. Yeah. Um, I don't really have anybody that's video game or uh, board game related. Is there really no board gamers? <coughs> no? Mm-mm. I refuse to believe that there's nobody on. It's Monday. It's Moon Day. Hey, Kozuma. He's going to love his new home. Yes. He is definitely going to love his new home. Karen, I will take pictures and um, show you things that... He well, actually, I'll go grab it while you're going to read. Ow. Um... I mean, Ruel is on if we want to go there. Karen, look at his dragon. He's going to be so happy. <laughs> it's like one of the ones that doesn't have the fluffy stuff. Cosma says she's she's been here. Oh. <laughs> and he has a squeaky butt. That's, I'm so happy. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. <laughs> That's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be sitting right here with his toy. So Ruel is just uh, chatting. So do you want to go there? Yeah. Okay, let's go see Ruel. We haven't raided him in a while. Let me see if I can spell his name right. Do you need help? <laughs> no. I think I got it. There we go, guys. <clears throat> so yeah, um, come hang out with us tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, while we solve uh, some cases with Sherlock Holmes, well, not with Sherlock Holmes, he's gonna, he's gonna beat us for he's sure. He's gonna stand there and silently. He's crouch. gonna, he's gonna watch us and just <laughs> laugh. Like, who are these guys? Yeah, we don't play board games. No. No, we don't. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, tomorrow, hang out with us, solve a case. You think it's bad now, time roller? Wait until Thursday. Thursday, we are. Um, doing our Dice in the Darkness roll and write adventures. So so if you haven't caught up, then catch up then. And Leon's going to be in my lap. Yes. And then Friday is our <laughs> BGA day where we just hang out and chill and do whatever and talk about whatever and just have a game night. <laughs> you are dream. Laura Where will be busy. busy. <laughs> oh, he's saying you're going to be streaming Thursday. Uh. I am not. <laughs> All right, guys. So, till tomorrow. All right. We'll see you guys Have later. Have a good night. Love you. Play games. All the games. Good night.